Hey there, welcome back to Medical Lab Simplified. Today, we're diving into something every phlebotomist, lab tech, or student needs to know. The order of draw. Get this wrong and your test results could be totally messed up. So let's break it down in a way that's easy, fun, and unforgettable. Why it matters. Okay, quick question, why does the order even matter? Well, when you're drawing multiple tubes of blood, each one has additives inside. If you go out of order, those additives can sneak into the next tube. And boom, wrong results, wrong diagnosis, and a whole lot of stress. So yeah, the order is a big deal. The order of draw. All right, let's go tube by tube. First up, blood culture bottles. These always go first, because sterility is everything. Next, light blue. This one's for coagulation studies, like PT and APTT. After that, red or gold. These are serum tubes, and they're used for chemistry, serology, and RFT, and all other tests involving serum. Then we've got green. This one has heparin inside and is perfect for plasma chemistry tests. Next, lavender or purple. This one's all about hematology, like your CBC. And last but not least, gray. This one preserves glucose and lactate, so it always finishes the lineup. And it is used for blood sugar random blood sugar fasting, OGT, etc. Memory trick. Now, here's an easy way to lock it in your brain. Boys love ravishing girls like Greek yogurt. Blood culture. Light blue red slash gold green lavender gray easy, right? And that's the order of draw. Simple, clear, and easy to remember. If this helped you, give it a thumbs up, share it with your classmates, and subscribe for more quick lab tips. Oh, and comment below if you want me to cover tube additives in detail next time. See you in the next one.